Hey everyone, in this video I will teach you how to troubleshoot Foley catheters. In the emergency department we see a lot of patients with Foley catheters. Sometimes they don't work and they're sent to the emergency room for us to figure out what is going on. In this video I will give you some tips and tricks on how to best troubleshoot a patient who has a Foley catheter that is either not draining or that that's leaking. Thank you for watching this video. If you like nursing content, consider subscribing as I upload a new video every Thursday. Also, be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Before I begin, like I said, I work in the emergency department as a registered nurse. I'm not a urologist or a urology nurse specialist. But with that being said, I have been successful in helping quite a bit of people who have problems with their Foley catheters. And in this video, I want to provide other nurses the knowledge to do so as well. So Foley catheter is not draining. If your Foley catheter is not draining, there's obviously a problem. Now this could be caused by many different things. However, the first thing you must always do is always assess the patient. The patient may present with certain complaints. What you need to do is assess for abdominal distension, tender to palpation, and really do a focused assessment of the GU system. After you've done that, you need to find objective data to validate that the Foley catheter is truly not draining. And to do that, you need to do a bladder scan. A bladder scan will tell you how much urine is in the bladder and depending on your hospital policy, this may warrant another Foley catheter insertion. It is generally good to get their blood work as well and assess their kidney function via their creatinine and GFR. If there's a significant change from their baseline, you may want to raise this with the primary care provider at the time. After you've after you've done all this and there is an indication to remove the current Foley catheter in situ and place another one, here are some tricks that I have learned from my experience. Number one, look at the bottom of the Foley bag and see if you can identify any sediments. Sediments in urine can occlude the Foley and can cause it not to work. If that is the case, obviously considering the amount of urine in, patient, in the patient bladder, try to irrigate the Foley with, a sterile, with sterile normal saline. This will hopefully disperse the sediments, clearing the Foley line again. Number two, when removing the catheter, look at the catheter tip to identify why there was an occlusion. Look for sediments again, or sometimes blood clots even. Number three, utilize a bigger catheter size. The bigger the catheter, the more likely it will drain as there is more surface area that the urine can go through and less, and less likely it is to occlude again. Number four, if all else fails and you can't figure out why, it's not, why the Foley catheter is not draining the patient's bladder, try using a Coudé tip Foley catheter. The Coudé catheter is specifically designed to maneuver around obstructions or blockages in the urethra. Coudé is the French word for bend or elbow, and Coudé catheters are slightly bent at the tip, which helps them move past a blockage. So there you have it. Those are some tips I have for troubleshooting Foley catheters. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any other tips and tricks for troubleshooting Foley catheters. I would, love, I would love to learn from you as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and for a bonus tip, you can always ask the emergency department physician to see if they're willing to do a bedside ultrasound and identify maybe any issues that they can see using an ultrasound device. If you've put in a catheter and it's not draining, for instance, on a male patient, you might be wondering why that why that's the case. And of course, you know, 
the next step would to get more would be to get more medical imaging but you can always see if there is a emergency room physician who may be willing to do a bedside ultrasound of the foley you've just inserted to identify what it truly is going on in there anyways i just wanted to throw that tip in there for some of you people that watched to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one